In fact, you can build almost anything with mashed potatoes. You can build a girlfriend. Hello, Almesha. Hello, Wind Rider Shiva. Oh, hello, Nightbot. Oh, Kami. Good to see you. Hi, Dana. Hi, Dragon Lord Carter. Now, speaking of girlfriends, uh, that's not what I have, and that's definitely not what we're going to have here today. The opposite of a girlfriend, a boy enemy. That's right. We are bringing in Corn Dan. Ah, <laughs> Hello, Bunny Worth. Hello, everybody hopping on by. Good to see y'all. It's always a happy day when we have Cusa Grande. Oh, hello there, Corn Dan. Hello. Oh my gosh, it's good to have you. I'm sorry that I called you a boy enemy, but you're well, basically I, the I opposite mean, of a girlfriend. They girl might friend. actually think so after today. Uh, yeah, I know what you're given. Yeah, I, hey, I did give them a choice of a much better game than this. I'm certain you did. <laughs> I, I mean, sure, they may or may not have, uh, you know, seen the speed run of that. Yeah, seeing the speedrun is kind of a little bit of uh, yeah. a death move. So because yeah. of that, we had a re-roll, and we ended we up with something with with what you've got. Yeah, you know how I keep telling you guys it's not RoboCop this time? Yeah. Yeah, I'm lying. It's RoboCop this time. <laughs> it's RoboCop 3 for the Amiga. Yeah, now here's the deal. I hate all RoboCop 3s that I've ever played before, and I don't imagine this is going to be any more enjoyable. Uh, so, I will say, if you compare this to the console RoboCop 3s, right, I, I think there, it's a lot more technically impressive. Okay. I, I really do. Um, I think it's interesting. I think it's implemented terribly. Uh, and, yeah, I could imagine that. Uh, do we get to see some of the technical achievements here? I, I mean, we will because of the way um, that that it's set up. That okay. we will absolutely see um, everything that is technical about it. I, I will say this is a game. I mean, this was out in 1992. That um, you know did polygons. Yeah. Right. So, so, and on the Amiga, no less. So the Amiga had, you know, it's not like with DOS where you could go get a voodoo card, you know, kind of at the end of the, of the DOS life cycle. Right. And there were actually games that supported um, Glide and the Voodoo 2, things like Descent 2 and stuff like that actually okay. looked really good that way. Mm. Um, the Amiga didn't have that. And so they did all of this in software, which is pretty interesting. That, yeah, that's kind of fascinating. If you know, programming some mechanics into a game. It's been done before. I mean, uh, the NES had quite a few games that they had to do a lot in order to get them to make, you know, work the way that they wanted. But the Amiga, you know, I don't know how often that happened. It already was capable of a lot, but if it wasn't capable of this, there are probably some interesting things that happened due to them programming it that way. Yeah, I mean, I think that for this, right, you know, it wasn't, I, I wouldn't say it wasn't, um, you know, obviously wasn't technically possible because it was DOS, right? You know, they were doing the same thing with, with DOS to do some of these things. Um, but, it, you know, there's a lot of math that goes into how all of that gets done. So it's, it's really interesting that instead of just saying, oh, change the camera angle or whatever, like we would do nowadays, and it would just calculate it all for us, right? You know, the fact that they had to do all those transformations and program all that in cells, I, I think is actually technically interesting. I That's think this really game has cool. a variety of challenges, right? Um, you know, there's five levels and four different types of levels, right? Hopefully we will see them all. We probably won't. Um... You know, th this game is very interesting on how it deals with hostages and stuff like that, right? It, it, it deals with them a lot better than RoboCop 2 did. And, well... Uh... I'm sorry, I, I'm trying... Oh, yeah. Uh, no, yeah. no, no, no. Uh, I... I'm working on capturing, uh, and because it's Amiga, it's always a pain in the butt. To... Yeah, I'll live. Um, so the nice thing with this on uh, for this particular capture for where like the Time Walker and Seth Highwind are, 
right everywhere yes. where there's color is kind of the box oh really okay so that makes life a little bit easier for me then okay so basically uh we won't need any more than that okay Correct. Uh, and if you're wrong corn dan now then you'll recapture and it won't be like any different than any other day oh my gosh oh my gosh <laughs> can you imagine this guy lies into this the this nerd here i know it's yeah. almost like i know you so well Ugh. that i know what's gonna happen here everybody you better step out because we're getting drama <laughs> so much drama uh you know what corn dan i've really enjoyed having you around and honestly the banter that we have always makes me happy uh if people haven't seen don't make us bored you definitely should check it out sometime uh on tuesday nights we've always yeah. been having a lot of fun it will be exciting yeah uh by the way we do need we do want more submissions we probably need more submissions i i think that we might have enough for a single i don't know for a show why is Exuno opening Dragon's Lair? I think trying to sort out music. Oh, oh, okay. <laughs> I'm like, this is very much not the game. But I, I think they're trying to sort out whether or not they're having music problems because they're not hearing any music in um, Robocop. Yeah, I mean... All robots need music. If you're a robot and you don't have music programmed into you, uh, <laughs> oh no, Exuno apparently had accidentally t muted the game. <laughs> you know, this is this is a game where I actually don't feel the music. You know, I don't think it's super great, but I don't think it's it's real bad, right? Like you could listen to it; and it, it feels like RoboCop. Uh, <laughs> You know, so I, I mean, there are definitely games that have been on here. Um, one of the games that potentially could have been given out if this had been vetoed um, has a game, has music that if I were a runner, I would mute it immediately. Well, yeah, uh, except I'm a believer that you never mute the music. You always suffer. That's what oh, Kusagravi is about. You. And if you mute, ugh, I'm going to be I, angry. I, yeah, oh no, I but there there's definitely there's a game that I'm sure we'll see sometime this tournament. Right. That I can best describe the music as if I were the runner, this would give me anxiety. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Actually, that's true. I think like j just because of of the way and, and it, to its to its credit, it, it it actually works to set the scene really well. Right, but oh, it would absolutely give me anxiety. I would absolutely have to to not um, use it. But this is not the case here. <laughs> yeah, this is hopefully not going to be too stressful for everybody. Watching. Oh, oh there, Maybe. well, it depends. Yeah, I mean, it depends on what level we get to on on how stressful some of this is going to be. If we get to the jetpack level, it's going to be real stressful for beep, 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 beep. reasons. <laughs> And we'll talk about it when we get there. Oh, yeah. And we I... might talk about it if we don't get there. It's... Because the jetpack level is my absolute favorite, but oh my god, is it so terrible. Well, every jetpack level in... <sighs> every jetpack level in any Robocop game is pretty much trash. Mm -hmm. It's like, and that's putting it kindly, okay? Like, I don't blame the devs, it's just... You know, Ocean was probably like, come on, come on, we need a new Robocop by the end of the day. And they're like, the checkbox section, it's flawed. Ocean said, no, no, I don't care. We're shipping. We're yeah. shipping today. And well, so, in this particular go. case, the jetpack version level in this game is, what would happen if we took a flight sim and put it into Robocop 3? <gasps> Oh no. Uh, I did see one of the players talking about the flight controls because they're like, what is this? Oh yeah, we. I told him to go try all the levels. <laughs> I love it. 
I love it, Corn Dan. Exactly what I like to hear. People getting terrified before even starting the game. Oh, for good reason. And Melos, I know you're out there. You could be playing this. <laughs> and now the news. And now the news. So we started them on arcade mode, mostly because story mode has the absolute worst starting level. It's no fun. Right, and um, we'll get there. It's the police strike level. And it's just no fun. So um, we're going to start them on arcade mode where we get two shooting sections before that. Okay. Uh, so the way we're looking at progress is if they complete one level, they can move on to the next. Um, if they're stuck on a level, it'll be whoever got the higher score in that level. Yeah. Ooh, a score. There is score, yeah. there There is a high score. Originally, I thought about doing score attack, but it turns out that uh, the fifth level doesn't give you any score at all. And the fourth level gives you like 10 times the score of all the other ones. So you, we would just be watching that for an hour, which, by the way, might be entertaining, but still. Corn Dad, we're going to do a countdown. So everybody, you need to get all your robots, all your cops, all your robocops. Uh, is there anything else that shows up a lot here? Uh, Jetpacks, uh, hostages. Yes. If you um, have hostage hair. emotes, I'm worried, but yeah. Uh, people who are in distress, I suppose. Crosshairs? Well, you, you'll see. Spam! Spam, everybody! I need to see them! Because as soon as I see movement in the first stage, I will start our timer. Oh, yeah, there we go. Oh, uh, okay, so... no. So here's the best part about this game, right? Yeah. This game is mouse controls. Right, oh, right, right mouse no. button makes you move forward, left mouse button names. Now, here's the thing. They could change this to um, to joystick controls in the manual I gave them. There is a, um, you know, you can hit J to do that. The joystick controls actually in this don't work, so. They uh, don't? And, no, not really. Oh, okay. Uh, all right, so um, what you'll see here, right, is a bunch of black things. If they're holding their arms up, they're hostages. If they're shooting at you, they're terrorists. So it's not surprising me that Time Walker has already game over. <laughs> uh, because this game likes to cheat, right? So... Um, oh my gosh, but, this is so bad. So oh. they can shoot around corners and you can't. They can shoot around corners like the uh, bullets like, go. Like, like if you're like if you're like at the edge, and you try to sneak around the corner, like they can shoot you through that corner. <laughs> so I, if you, I think that's awesome. Yeah, it's it's so good. Uh, so if you shoot a hostage, it takes like forty percent off your efficiency. Well, that's not good. Don't shoot no, the hostages, everybody. Okay. That's the opposite so, of what there, you want to do. There's like 30 guys, right, or whatever, in, in each level. Okay. It's uh, it's no fun. But so, like, if you see where, like, where Exuno is, right, where you, every time you see the static, like, that's them getting shot, the reason you were seeing that, like, a whole bunch right away was because the guy in, like, on the far left hand of the screen was the guy shooting you through that corner. Yeah. So why is Alpha's... Uh, phrase for second worse than everyone else. Well, I made sure to tell Alpha to make sure it's not on automatic for system and it's on the A1200. So everybody else is playing on a better system than Alpha is. Alpha is playing on an A600 equivalent. Uh, it doesn't really have effect on the gameplay other than the frame rate. But that might make it playable. Not really. I, I tried it either way. I, I think it's actually more playable on the A1200 just because it's, it's smooth out. Uh, so I do want to point out, right, you know, as everyone's talking about how this is uh, uh, hot garbage, right? It is hot garbage that figure everything that they did in here, um, they did in 1992, right? So for 1992, it is a pretty good technical achievement. The game's just not good. Beep, beep. Beep, beep. Oh, are beep. there health packs? Uh, no, no, there's not. You you get one life, and and you got to clear it all out. 
Oh no, I hear stressful music. I hear heartbeats. Alpha 5, you're gonna die. He's just shooting, he's shooting so much. How many bullets do these people have? Like, like infinite, they have infinite bullets and they can see you around the corner. Oh my gosh. By the way, yeah, I uh, did send a message out to all of the players to make sure if they didn't to check the settings. Uh, and be like the very top setting, it's model. Oh my gosh. Yeah. No, up. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Getting the menu, boss. There you go. That will definitely help speed yep. things up. Yeah, it'll make everything consistent. Because... So, it won't... Uh... <laughs> Um, I, I do like the end when you die, uh, that, you know, they do a, a story mourning the death of RoboCop. Ah, uh, poor RoboCop. Well, okay. Alpha 5 going to be getting back into it in just a second. Seth Highwind... Uh -huh is also yeah, checking. He, so Seth, Seth was on the CD32, which is an A1200. Um, but, you know, let's make sure they're all the same. We told them to, to do this, but, you know, whatever. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Welcome to Cusa Grande. Every once in a while, people listen to us. Not Sometimes. always. Yeah. That's... So... It's okay, Coordinate. It's okay, breathe. No, I, I mean, breathe. I figure however it turns out is how it turns out. I'm having a good time with this because this game is real bad. Oh, yeah, it is not a good game. But I'm having fun. I am having a great time. Um, we, I have to... Yeah, Faizu and I both kind of independently found this last year, and we're basically waiting for, like, the perfect time to use it. Okay. Um, you know, because as you can see how bad it is. Oh, yeah. Well, like, this does seem pretty fascinating. Like, the 3D, I like the 3D graphics. Yeah, I, I mean, I think I think they did a good job with that. Now, here, let's talk about the fact that it's um, pixel-perfect mouse control. Okay. Right, where the game cheats. Uh, yeah, considering <laughs> that the NPCs can shoot you through walls. Yeah, they can shoot you through the hostages, too. Yeah, I mean, looking at... Oh my gosh. <laughs> Alpha 5's complaining this is a different game now. Well, yeah. Yep. Welcome to Cusa Grande, where having the correct settings can sometimes be helpful and sometimes not. <laughs> what is the worst RoboCop game I've ever given? It is absolutely this one. But you know what? This match really matters. They shouldn't Why have so? a good RoboCop game. Like what are what are the stakes with this, Gordon? Well, somebody's going to um, you know I think these are twenty fours and twenty sevens, you know right all mixed up together. So you know um, this matters on who makes it to brackets. Oh yeah, getting at least third is very important for everyone. Fourth yeah. place is going to be eliminated. Third place might not make it as well, depending on how tiebreakers go. Well, and and depending on who gets third place out of everything right it's true, um, yeah third place might be okay if you have 27 points going into this right third place is definitely not okay if you have 24 oh yeah well definitely want to I mean, take yeah. second or I guess first if you have 27, though, if you have 27 and you get third you would be fine right that'd give you 32 points if you got 24 and you got third that may be a problem now where oh, alpha has yeah. 27 points right um you know alpha getting fourth may or may not be a problem. Yeah, it's true. He might move on to the tiebreaker. Oh my gosh, there's so much. The order, it matters a lot. Uh, then again, yeah. you know, I think Alpha 5, out of all the people uh, who are in this match, I've seen Alpha 5 play before. He's always done fantastic. Exuno here runs <laughs> or has helped run Mystery Tournament in the past and has done fantastic there. So, yeah, I don't know. I don't know how it's going to be. 
I have no idea how this is going to go. It's going to be great. Um, Seth seems to be doing pretty well. 21 kills, right, is getting pretty close to the end of this level. Unfortunately, uh, Seth goes down. Yeah! Um, I will say in um, in Discord, right, Exuno did type in, thank you for actual Kusoge. <gasps> <laughs> Cardhead, you did it. You gave a bad video game. I gave a bad, I gave a bad video game, everyone. Well, that happens sometimes in Cusa Grande. Well, yeah, so people are talking about Wolfenstein 3D. And that, so Wolfenstein 3D is as much 3D as this honestly is. Um, you know, this is a little bit smoother because we're running it on a pretty high-end Amiga system. But oh, this, yeah. this is a, effectively a 2D game that looks 3D. Uh, much like uh, Wolfenstein 3D is. Yeah. Right? The... I think they both use kind of the same sort of ray tracing methodology. Okay. Essentially only loading what you see. The yep. sprites are flat. Yeah. I mean, if you okay. look, th these guys might actually have real 3D models, but they're pretty flat. Um, it's still pretty impressive. I mean, if you look at the animations and everything and all of those, right? Like, you know, this is still impressive from that standpoint. Oh, yeah. Uh, and considering it's just people throwing together, uh, it, I mean, it is ocean Robocop game. Digital something? Digital. Who did it? Yeah, don't worry, I'll look it up. Yeah, we've got Robocop 3, came out in 1992, Ocean Software published, developed by Digital Image Design. There we uh, go. And they did not make a whole lot of games. They made a lot of EF games. Uh, did, yeah, did, I think Time Walker just skipped ahead. I didn't see, um, Kate, can you confirm whether or not he finished that level? Yeah, that would be very helpful. Yeah, from what I see, this company made a lot of flight sims. Uh, well, it, it will show. Uh-oh. Uh, Chad is saying that he did indeed finish the level. Uh, okay. Yeah, so that that's great. Time Walker appears to be in the lead right now. Alpha 5 going up the elevator. Terminating no one. Do you really want to terminate anybody in here? You're not the Terminator. Well, you're the Robocop. You guys can see how, how difficult this, this game is real good. Uh, yeah, so Kata said, no, that's correct. I, I just didn't see it. Uh, Terrace Illuminate has to safe. Well done. That is the end of the level. So you do actually need to kill all the terrorists. Alpha yes. 5, I know, he, he's shooting you through the wall. It's okay. It's okay. Luckily, Robocop is made out of metal. He can handle wall-piercing rounds, you know? That's arguable. Just tank yeah, it. Yeah, I can't, I can't wait until um, somebody makes it to level 3. Uh, because level 3 is... Uh, it's, it's a driving level <gasps> on a flight sim engine, basically. Oh. Uh, Mike, is this like Virtual Cop? No, it's not. I mean, this is more like Wolfenstein for now. <laughs> um, yeah, so so the, the driving one, you have to go, you know, get people's stolen cars and you have to drive a car, you know, with, with turbo that kicks in at like 30 miles per hour and a whole bunch of other stuff. It's um, not good one bit oh uh, this seems fine it's basically missed with more bullets <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah as self-destruct system in chat said wolf 3d meets mist there we go yeah oh my gosh the heartbeat i don't like it well i do like heartbeats but not that one Blech. Oh my gosh. So apparently, I'm looking, Dave Dixon was one of the programmers for this, and he actually was the lead programmer for Psychonauts, and also worked on a Costume Quest, which I believe we saw that on RPG Limit Break one time. It's a cute game. Uh, Final Fight Revenge. He was a programmer over there. It's pretty impressive. Yeah, it doesn't really... like. 
I, I still think that what I've seen so far, maybe the AI isn't the best, but uh, especially on this newer model of Amiga, it runs pretty well. Oh, yeah, there to be this one. Maybe it's not a great game, but it, it's technically pretty impressive. Yeah, oh, no, and, and I, you know what? I love having those sorts of games on Cuso Grande, right? Where you can you can usually see like what it was trying to do. Oh yeah. Uh, and you know, then point out you can kind of see where it failed and, and stuff like that. You know, so I think like games like this, you can see what they were really trying to do here. Yeah. You know. Um, Oh no. And what they're trying to accomplish, and the hardware just wasn't real good at it, right, at the time. So, you know, I love that this kind of failed, um, you know, because of limitations of, of uh, effectively hardware at the time, right? If you were to do something like this today with like a full uh, 3D graphics card and stuff like that, you might actually get a decent sort of game. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Like, well, I'm, I'm... you know, so at least the premise I think is interesting. And I think, um, you know, I actually think it's fine for companies to do that. There are too many big developers that don't even seem to try anything. They go with the tried and true formula and just stick with that because, because why not, you know? And I'm, I'm aware that Titus tried, right, to oh make gosh, a yeah. more modern RoboCop in like 2003 and really failed at that too. Right. Titus has problems. Like, but but I I mean I think though if you'd put something together like this as as like a first person shooter, I guess the one I can sort of think of comparing this to a little bit only with without the weirdness to it is um Geist. Oh yeah. But but you know if you took like that sort of engine and that style of gameplay and made a RoboCop game out of it, you know in the, in this sort of style like the sort of things you're doing, I I think it could actually work out. I think it definitely did not work out well here. Yeah, I kind of would agree there. You know, I'm looking at uh, one of the people who worked on this. The producer uh, actually was one of the people who helped, I think, with a lot of Ocean and a lot of older games. I mean, yeah. er early days, he worked on Donkey Kong, the original Donkey Kong, Mr. Wimpy, the hamburger game, uh, Tapper. Uh, but he also had beautiful games like RoboCop 2, <laughs> The Addams Family, Rambo First Blood Part 2. Wait. Well, um, Exudo seems to uh, have put it in a third person mode and then their stream crashed? That's not so good. you so so here if we we're talking about this, right? There is actually a full three-dimensional RoboCop. <laughs> Uh, and, and, you know, this is what they get. I don't even feel bad about this. <laughs> oh, no. Yeah, Exuno, I think, we'll, we'll, we'll wait for him to get back online. He'll be back. We killed Exuno's. Well, Exuno killed his stream. That's right. So now we're just going to stare at Robocop's butt for a little while. <laughs> okay, Exuno is back. Um. Yeah. Am I incapable of remorse? No, I, I actually have a lot of remorse. There's yeah. definitely some games I've given out that I felt bad about, you know, just because it didn't go the way it should have. Um. Time Walker you know, is asking how many terrorists there are in the second stage. A lot. <laughs> yeah. Well, Exuno's internet has also been a pretty big yeah. pile of butts. Well, so I, I mean, I'm hopefully not they're doing local recording. Yep. Uh, as it turns out, you know, one of the previous matches, we had somebody who didn't use, or no, he said that he was recording locally but it was in a way where it wouldn't save if obs crashed and obs crashed and you know we were essentially getting a slideshow but not like a good slideshow like uh one in school where you get about a frame every five minutes well and uh, in that file we couldn't even recover anyway yep so unfortunately there was no evidence about because 
That person claimed to have essentially made it to second or first place, but no evidence means no dice. And no dice means how are you gonna how are you gonna roll the dice? You can't roll the dice. Yeah, you're gonna go to a craps table and be like, oh, I don't have any dice. Casino owner's gonna be like, well, you should have brought some. Should have brought some. How are you gonna win? Then they take your money. At least that's what I think craps tables do. I, I don't really know too much about craps. I'm just going to assume that I'm right, because nobody is talking back to me. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, oh, chat is right. Uh, casinos have no dice. Yeah, so you got to bring your own. Bring your own. If you bring a D20 to a craps table, though, they get really confused. Da, da, da. Well, everybody, this match is certainly heating up, and it might be heating up CPUs more than the chat here, because Robocop 3... The, the first person shooter slash driver slash possibly fr flying game, you know. Oh, there is definitely flying. Has, I, I really hope we get to see it. It starts out a little bit slow, so I'm interesting. In, uh, I'm interesting. Yeah. We'll, we'll talk. We'll talk about it. You know, let's talk about the flying here, right? So, okay. So imagine, imagine using the same. Um, I have to think everything's built on the same engine, right? You know, so this is all probably built on a. Um, a flight sim engine, I would imagine. And so now you're going to do Robocop, right? And you have your left mouse button and your right mouse button, because we only have mouse controls. Remember that, right? And squeak, left mouse squeak, button squeak. shoots and right mountain, right, mount, right mouse button slows you down. But shooting also speeds you up. Wait, right? so shooting speeds you up? Yeah, yeah. The, the, the left mouse button is both. <laughs> this is um, so good. The, the left mouse button is both um, shoot and speed up. So you could just hold shoot and bam, you're through, you win. You, well, but you have to kill, you know, all the bad guys. Well, shoot them all. Just hold well, yeah, it down, so, bam, bam, so, bam. So if you think watching these guys try to control like this is is, is killer, right? Um, um, Imagine trying to now control in three dimensions. Oh no. So wait, can can you actually control when you turn left and right? In yeah, this? yeah, yeah. I, I like, mean, it's just like you, you you move your mouse left, mouse left, you turn left. You move your mouse right, you turn right. Okay. You move your mouse down, down, you pitch up. You move your mouse up, you pitch down. It's just like a flight sim. Like the the way that the camera moves, though, it looks a lot like one of those arcade shooters because. Like the on-rail arcade shooters, but it's yeah, definitely I mean, so not. You, yeah. you don't really have to target, right? You know, as long as they're kind of within your your kind of like target zone, it will automatically target for you. So you so you don't have to be like spot on the guy and like drill him with a whole bunch of shots, right? You could be kind of close. You'll see the targeting reticle hit them. You hit the fire button, they die. You <gasps> move on. Time walkers through level two, and oh great, we get to talk about the worst level of the game. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I'm so excited. Oh, you should be. Um, so we're going to move on to the driving level. Oh, driving. Everybody, cars plus mouse controls. There's nothing oh, yeah. that could go wrong with this. Uh, left mouse button is the... the um. The, the gas pedal, right mouse button is the brake. Oh, and no. moving left and right is your steering. So no. it gives you, a little map, gives you a little map there of where you're at. And there's another dot on there of the guy that you have to go apprehend. Uh, so if you were to actually play like the story mode in this game, it starts with this level. <gasps> oh, there we go. We got to see Robocop in the car. Oh, uh oh! You've got you've got your lights on. Nope, Time Walker. That's that's off the road. Uh huh. Uh huh. And, and so, like everything. So this game has like a turbo button, like, like a turbo that kicks in about thirty miles an hour, yeah. and then like rockets you forward into like hundred miles an hour. Um, at which point in time, the car becomes basically uncontrollable. Oh, I like it. Oh, 
<laughs> like, I, I love how it's like Time Walker is just crawling around, but still yeah. unable to stay on the road. Right, right. and if, you, if you're not on the road, you can't go fast enough to go catch the bad guy. <laughs> oh, this is so, so good. Oh, it, but, right, if that's where we started, we would not, like, we would still be watching that right now with, like, zero progress whatsoever. Do you think anybody will beat the driving stage? Oh, maybe. Time Walker maybe. just drove into, or maybe well, a car drove, drove into him. Into him. Okay. Yeah, the, the cars don't care about you. Well, I don't care uh, about Robocop either. I'd probably drive right in him, like, a oh, stupid Robocop. <laughs> yeah, just like that. Do I know who's in um, second, third, and fourth? The answer is not not a chance. I have no idea. We've got plenty of time. Don't um, worry so about why, it. So why does the camera keep changing? Because he sets it. Right? Like, they can set the camera and get some weird camera angles out of it um, because the game will do that. By the way, uh, the stream was not frozen over there. I think Time Walker just paused for a second to maybe... The, yeah, go through the controls. So we, yeah. we did give them the manual, Thank right? Or, or at least the text version of the manual, um, which doesn't really tell you much other than, you know, you got to go stop this guy, um, right? Which the thing tells you already. Um, and it gives you the controls, and so you can set it to joystick or mouse controls or whatever if you want. Um, if you hit J on the keyboard, it swaps between joystick and mouse. Okay. Uh, I'm so worried about everything. Especially this Robocop's heart. You gonna be okay, Robocop? Well, no. Oh, yeah, he's very dead. Oh, I don't like these sounds. Not a fan. Well, I, I mean. Wait, wait, wait. What format is the manual that you sent out? Because I can't. Text. Open. It's a, it's a web page. HDF. No, HDF is the, the game. Oh, I accidentally tried to open up the game. <laughs> yeah, there's a manual. I gave you the manual. Where's I, the I gave manual? him the manual. You didn't pin the manual. It's a little bit further down. Okay, okay. You, you, you want you want the manual? Let me. No, I'll just send I you the manual the again. Myself. No, no, you can't. <laughs> Did you really <laughs> just say no? You can't. <laughs> wow, I can't believe. Shut up! We're playing video games. Yeah, yeah, we're playing video games. Uh, it doesn't even count, Cordan. <laughs> Look, it's a driving sim. This is how I drive. Okay. <laughs> Just go off I, I road. I heard about how you drive. So, okay, so now you can see on Time Walker's screen that that orange dot, right, that's moving around, that's the guy you have to go get. Well, okay, that's cool. Uh, Detroit, turns out there's a lot of dirt in Detroit. Well, Not very many I, buildings. I, I mean, I've been to Detroit. Detroit is no good. That'd be like slightly good, like tad bit. I mean, it's fine. You know, I went and saw a baseball game. It was okay. I was there for work, so. <laughs> um, I, I mean, if you're willing to drive outside Detroit, it, I, I went to one of the coolest museums I've been to. Right, I went to the Henry Ford Museum, and I was there Ooh. where there was only like 200 of us, and it was closed for our particular event. Oh yeah, so you basically, like it. Well, I, I like cards and stuff, and but you know okay. the fact is, I got to be there and like see all this cool stuff, uh, you know, all this stuff with only like two hundred people there, and like a hundred people weren't out exploring the museum. So you you know you got to go like see everything and do whatever you wanted, and like nobody was ever in your way or anything like oh, that. Oh, that's nice, and that made it like so much better. Wow, Time Walker is kind of driving. Well, was kind of driving. Kinda, there we go. I, I Back mean, on the sort road. of. Good. The, the time Walker is like going the right direction and it's mostly on the road oh there's a gas station perfect yeah no it's a toll booth oh. but you can see when, when time walker just decided to like drop off right just yeah. how much his speed drops so you essentially if you want to like you either have to get lucky and like clear this guy out because you'll watch him like go by right but he's just going to disappear just because of how you know time walker needs to get on the road true True, come on. 
There we go. There's and, the and, like, and Nobody cares. Like, if there are other people on the road, they don't care about you. Yeah, it looks like uh, the level isn't too punishing unless anybody runs into you or you run into something. Yeah, like, and that happens a lot. You can I, just I mean, keep going. Though. I think. Yeah, I, I mean, you know, you can... Time Walker, stop running into nothing. Stop it. Yeah, it turns out the building has a hitbox the size of Kansas. Holy crap. Well, you know. So, um, yeah, I mean, let's let's comment that, that in the future, people don't care where in the road they are. Um, and, and you're just in their way. Same. Um, so, I mean, that could just be Utah. <laughs> oh, Utah. I don't know. We have... Okay, Corn Dan, our roads are so huge in Utah. Okay, basically every road, even like the rural roads, are essentially... Like five lanes in either direction? Essentially, yeah. Uh, well, two lanes, I'd say. Uh, the shoulders are giant. It, you could probably double park cars in the road and still not actually be on the road where people are driving. Uh, we have, yeah, giant shoulders there, except I mean, in a few places, you know, but my, you know, my, the streets right around my house are actually in, in a way kind of like that. Um, okay. The, the neighborhood that we're in, it's the easiest way I can describe it is a, a, effectively more or less a giant cul-de-sac that, you know, it's just one entryway and that's it. Yeah. Uh, and, uh, you know, so like nobody comes in and out and everybody knows everybody oh, right yeah. in, in the neighborhood, but we've got 40 foot wide streets. <laughs> and which means you can park like double park oh, yeah. and people can still get by if you really wanted to. Yeah, that that's how it is here, except everywhere here. Uh, but to be fair, Utahns are not good drivers and it's actually backed up by statistics. Uh, that we're like the third worst state when it comes to drivers. Yeah. No, seriously. Okay, the other day we went to a roundabout. We were going to go through the roundabout. This person entered the roundabout, stopped, and waved us through while they were sitting in the roundabout. That's not how roundabouts work. No, it's not how roundabouts work at all. What's that? So, half the yeah. fun of giving them this on the system I did, right, is that, you know, the, the, the driving scene and some of this actually become a lot more difficult because it's moving faster. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I but it looks see real that. good it, while it, that's it, happening. Definitely. Uh, yeah, would let the enemies get away quite a bit faster. You know, even though you go faster, the enemy definitely does as well. Well, hey, but Seth. a lot of it is, is like trying to control is so hard. Look yeah, at Seth, Seth I wins on the next level. We got we got a first and a second here. Oh, yeah. Did Time Walker run out of time? No, you can actually hit escape in the game and you just die. That's not nice. Oh, my gosh. Are you going to... Time Walker, I think, has a really good idea. Just reset and uh, yeah, try to get him in Yeah, because that's your best shot. chance. That's your best chance right there. I love it. I love it. Love it so much. Smooch a smooch a smooch. I really hope we get to hear some of the other music, cause the the first level, yeah, it's it's suspenseful, you know, because Robocop is so suspenseful. Yeah. Blech. Remember, I think the second level is much the same sort of music. Well, I mean, I can deal with that. What about the driving stage? Uh, it doesn't really have music. That's really disappointing. No, no, I, I lied. It has more of the same sort of dramatic music. Dun, dun. 
Because I'm listening to it right now. I love that. Oh, somebody linked the advertisement Carol Z did, and the I, advertisement yeah. says totally unique, fast well, 3D polygon, a new genre. Pictures speak I, for themselves. Yeah, I don't know what the picture there's trying to say. Like, if you take a picture, sure, it looks like it's 3D. But guess what? Pictures do not tell how a game plays, like, at all. Like, if pictures did, then Kang Fu would have sold many more copies than it did. I mean... <laughs> no, no, I'm pretty sure that if you see pictures of Kang Fu, right, your answer is, what the hell is this? Not let me go buy it, right? Well, so, I, yeah. to be fair, I think I think pictures are adequately describing, you know, pictures of Kang Fu adequately describe um, the weirdness that is Kang Fu. No, 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 no. If I, if I could see just how amazingly janky it is, I'm going to put money in, you know? I mean, I guess I can just by... Never mind, Corndan. I You win. You win this argument. Whatever. Like, like any other sort of game, I might agree with you. Like, if I saw, <laughs> like, you know, this sort of game and be like, oh, yeah, it's, it's like, sort of like this, right? Like, I, I think I would agree with you. By the right? way, Exuno... Kenfu, Oh, I don't think there's any, like, description of Kang Fu that would solve what Kang Fu is. Yeah, you're probably right. So, um, yeah, Exuno is now on, or Alpha 5 is now on level 2. Yep, Exuno is starting to fall behind. It still is redeemable, but I, I think Exuno is a little bit more experienced in other genres. Actually, then again, everybody is, since this is a totally new genre. A totally new genre. My name is Robocop. Actually, how does Robocop talk? Does he talk like a robot? Like, I, well, I, I mean... Beep boop, I'm a Robocop. I will arrest you. I, I, I mean, I have to admit, it, it, it's a kind of monotonish, you know, human male voice, right? Because Sergeant Murphy still does have his voice box. He just doesn't you know, have any inflection that goes with he it. He just doesn't have a personality. Gotcha. Yeah, pretty much. My name is Robocop. Or, my name is Murphy. I am here to do an arresting of you. Oh no, I saw the sales chart on Exuno's screen, and the red line just plummets. Well, it's I mean... It's not even on the graph anymore. Yeah. Uh, well, you know, when you're trying to make all those sales in, you know, the department. <laughs> some, especially in a post-apocalyptic place, it's probably not going to do so well. Yeah, everybody, you can go ahead and press F for the stonks. Yeah. The, the, the stonks, not so good. Justin is crying about the stonks, too. Yeah. But the stank is up. <laughs> and the jank is up too. Yeah. It's way up. <laughs> so up. A boarding media break. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, he's just getting escape. And so if you don't abort that, it comes up with the uh, well, Robocop is dead um, screen. Oh, but that's my favorite screen. It is a pretty good screen. <laughs> it's so good. I, uh, I mean, that would make a um, a, a good uh, raid message that whatever it is, we're sorry to report that RoboCop has died. I'm crying. <laughs> How could you kill a robot? You know, I don't know. I... I think that I, I'm excited for robots to take over, you know? Cause I'm totally gonna totally gonna keep batteries in my pocket just in case. You know, if I need to bribe them. Pockets full of batteries, yeah, that's yeah, the juice. There we go. Yeah. T tonight's top headline, Motor City mourns the death of Robocop. Oh no. <gasps> Poor Robocop. 
He didn't have any friends. <laughs> All he did was walk around in hallways and he drove a car. <laughs> it's so sad. Robocop. I, I kind of feel bad for what I just put in Discord about this. Time Walker's comment was, I have no idea what to do here. Uh, and my response was just stop and apprehend. <laughs> or play pinball. That's also doable. <laughs> oh, no. 1% efficiency, a Time Walker. I'm just imagining the car has like three tires. One of them is crooked right now going boop, 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 boop. You know, yeah, I mean, Time Walker coming. did kind of just pick like the worst spot to go, um, right, like do all of that. Uh, Alpha Five is stuck in a wall. <laughs> okay. I mean, so this is the other reason I went with the arcane. Um, you know, one, like, if, if something were to happen, you could just be like, go back and restart on the level you were on. Yeah, yeah, that's definitely a good option there. I mean, I, I'm a monster. I'm not completely cruel. But cruelty's part of the fun. Well, I, I mean, to some extent, yes, right? But <laughs> cruelty isn't fun, like when the game is interesting or something like that, like when there's just more to that, like being cruel for cruel steak and Cuso Grande, not really that much fun. All right, yeah, we being, have to being keep cruel everybody Being cruel is something that is entertaining and interesting, also cruel. Yeah, totally down for it. So what's the difference between movie adventure and arcade action? Movie adventure has a different um, level so it's the same levels are just in a different order and obviously you can't redo them you know if you die you have to start over oh my gosh oh i like whatever instrument that was on alpha 5's channel like someone got some wood blocks and they're like yeah it's wood block time Clearly, that just means we're shooting old ladies. <laughs> I was going to say, hopefully they win a daytime Emmy for that one, you know. Woodblock Man from Robocop 3. Uh, I, I mean, come on, we've all seen Godfather DOS. <laughs> <Woo>. <laughs> oh, it's so good. Yeah, and, and then when you killed people, it was the woodblock time. Yeah. Which I, I'm kind of sad that I, I in a way, I'm, I'm sad that I fixed that. Same, same. Oh! Uh, I, I think it's an interesting reason why it's broken. Uh, so, you know, that was that was actually broken because there's two versions of the MT-32 that exist. Yeah. So there's the MT-32, which was never really designed for computer games. It just kind of ended up that way. And then there's the CM-32L, which is the same thing actually designed for gamers and uh it has extra voices to it Ooh. uh so the godfather um is actually set up to use the lapci which is a roland cm32 and the controller card all on one isa card Ooh, that's fancy so it actually uses those extra voices and so when when it doesn't know what to use for those extra voices, right, it, it defaults back to like general MIDI stuff, which is apparently the woodblock. Alpha 5 got a double KO right there. Yeah. Robocop is dead. I love how she smiles when she says that too. She she secretly oh, so loathes him. Maybe not so secretly loathes him. She's just like Well, you know, <laughs> I mean I mean Robocop is taking all the glory. Well, yeah, if you get rid of Robocop, who's going to stand in your way? I don't know, that's what I'm saying. Not Splatterpunks. <laughs> Stupid Splatterpunks. Yeah, Splatterpunks are clearly not standing up for Detroit. I love how the manual doesn't even say anything about Splatterpunks. No, why would it? Because they're part of the game. It's a whole level about them. 
one whole But you're expecting of... the manual to tell you like anything like useful. A little bit. It tells you how to control, how to drive. Yeah, that's about all it tells you that's like of any use at all. I love that joystick. It it lists joystick controls forward, back, left, and right, and then it lists key controls, which I assume would be the keyboard. And the controls there are cursor up, cursor down, cursor left, cursor right. That is not keys. That's not keys. No, no, no. They're, they're talking about, yeah. No, no, the arrow keys. They're cursor keys. Are, are the players not allowed to use cursor keys? Oh, no, no. They could if they wanted. I, I gave them the manual. If they can figure out how to set all that up and do it, they're more than welcome to. <laughs> okay. All right, so um, Time Walker got the one car. Now there's another one. No, it's no, a van. No, it has. No. <laughs> it is. It's a van. It has more um stuff. Is it faster? No, the, the the guy the guy in the van is slower because it's a van. Well, okay, but maybe it's a turbocharged van, or they put rockets on the back. I don't know most games they tend to make a second vehicle you have to catch a little bit faster so i i just assume maybe they made this one faster but that that was assuming that they actually designed this game <laughs> well so yeah i, I do kind of want to point out right you know what's what's interesting in, in a way with this um, is that you know you know what would fit like perfectly in this game is the tesla cybertruck um Chat, chat's got it right on. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Okay, okay, I like this game again. <laughs> really didn't take much convincing. Uh, Time Walker is chasing the van, going the speed of whatever speed this is, danger, the speed of danger. Uh, pretty much. Um, because you're doing like 140 or something miles an hour or whatever, whatever this thing can do. Right. And you're basically just hoping that this van that's also doing that runs into somebody else. Yeah. Does, can the van die just running into somebody uh, else? Yeah, yeah, it can. Um, it's, I mean, it's not likely, but yes, it's possible. <gasps> um, when okay. I was playing this. <laughs> Oh, no. Uh, I actually had the uh, the sports car hit another car and blow up. The cars look like the safari vehicles from Disneyland. <laughs> no, seriously, okay? <laughs> kind of. Time walkers in chat going, wow, I can't believe this wasn't over yet. <laughs> you know, Exuno is... Definitely in last at this point. Seth Highwind, Alpha 5, both on level 2. Alpha 5 got quite a few eliminations during one of the recent so tests. So has uh, Seth Highwind, so... Um, one of them should make it to driving. I'm Maybe hoping. Both. Yeah, I mean, there's like 15 minutes left. Like, if you're not driving in Robocop, what have you done with your life? <laughs> Pretty much. I, uh, I mean, probably, probably a lot more good stuff. So, Seth's kind of got the right idea now, or Time Walker's got got the right idea now. You like inch up on him, and then you know let off and inch up, you know, so that you can just keep like bumping him. Bam! Right, and then it doesn't. Well, it doesn't throw you off the um, screen quite as far. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I know the slow and steady. Do you, do you still do the same amount of damage to him each hit? If you're I don't even slower? know. It, it's so hard to tell in this game. Uh, the nice thing here is that like the car's path is basically deterministic, so you can see Time Walker like sneaking around to like run this guy head on. Yeah. And got him. Suspect vehicle destroyed. Destroy E. Occasionally, I hear some notes that I don't expect. Like, I, I don't know. Maybe they have dynamic music generation for Robocop. I have no idea. 
I actually highly doubt it, but <laughs> just throwing it out there. Oh, 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 this is like, you you know the the tune generators for Hypnospace? Yeah. Yeah, it's like that. Yeah, We're, kinda. Wow. Except we don't have soothing voices saying like, Emerald, Sapphire. Well, I mean, you know, and, and we have no one talking about the Chowder Man. Oh, uh, yeah. I like the Chowder Man. What a good guy. Oh, no, Alpha 5 could try. But unfortunately, those people just have, like, a million round uh, clips that they put in their guns. <laughs> yeah, like, everybody has infinite ammo. Every every single person in this game turned on the infinite ammo glitch. <laughs> Good for them. Even you did. Yeah, everybody. Yeah, yeah, everybody. I, I mean, not just you, all the enemies did. Um everybody did right because why not you know we we don't need to you know nobody wants to worry about like having to to change the clip in your gun nobody cares about that no it's dumb uh unless it's in vr and you actually have to like move your hands around then it's funny well yeah i, I mean but but i mean as far as this goes like nobody nobody wants to worry about it so why not give everybody the uh the, the cheat code, just let them put it in. Right. In fact, we'll put it in automatically to start. Um, because Blech. why not? Heck yeah. Oh no, Time Walker! <laughs> Sad. Oh, day. that was great. Now, if you take a look at the left, you might not see it right now, but the hippopotamus is lurking beneath the beneath the water. Oh, there he is! I don't know, like, I'd be interested looking up the script for the Disney thing, because it's always exactly the same, and they're always strangely excited to tell you about all of the fake animals out there. I love it! Except now that I think it's a little bit weird to go on a safari adventure where nothing is real, and everything is just smelly. Well, I mean, so, doesn't that make it real? Uh, real-ish? A little more real? I don't know. Ugh. David Dixon apparently has the high score for this game. Uh, Dave Dixon was the person who programmed this. Good job. He has the high score. Well, I don't think he's ever going to lose that. Considering that... Alpha 5 play play has 22 terminations and has 220 points. Oh, oh yeah, I, I mean, I mean, every termination in those levels is a single point. So like where 10. you get your points is, is honestly, it's the, uh, uh, you get it in the um, level four. Ah, the flying, possibly. Because like each kill there is like 300 points. Heck yeah. But you only get two, right? Oh, wait, wait, wait. No, that's the driving. Well, there might be a third one in the driving. I don't know. There's a bunch of targets in the, um, the flying one. And... I don't you don't know. know how many there are? <laughs> Poor Dan. No, because when I couldn't get through it, I switched to arcade mode and so I started playing all the levels so I could be familiar with everything that's going on. I put a couple hours in and, and I, I got to the second car. Okay. Right? I don't know if there's a third. <laughs> oh, chat. And, and you all make me laugh, by the way. I, I mean, so it's like, you know, you can't say I didn't put in my, my hours worth, I you know, of everything that's going on here. I, to be fair, I did put a lot of the time on the um, gyro pack level because that one's actually kind of fun. Um, if even though it moves like stupidly fast. We might have to do that sometime just for fun. By the way, the manual that you gave out that totally wasn't the game file that I tried to open up in Notepad uh, has some <laughs> gameplay hints and tips. So, so tell first, me about them. Your adversary is intelligent, so treat him with respect. Freaking Mr. T suggestion right there. Okay. Uh, oh, oh, look at that. Oh, Most this is for the driving. Fled. Um, the streets are safe. <gasps> 
Alpha 5 gets to Alpha drive. Alpha 5 has moved on to driving. Yeah. Good. Now treat the other driver with respect. Okay, keep on the road. Although you can drive on sidewalks and open areas, it will damage your vehicle and wear down efficiency. Uh, I'd say that's not really a good tip because sometimes you just have to if you're going to catch them. Oh, no. Okay, keep an eye on the brake lights as you know <laughs> if your chase vehicle is about to slam on the brakes or turn rapidly. Uh, so watch the other car's brake lights. We don't have time to do that, though. There's just not a chance. Okay, when in pursuit of a vehicle, don't get too close as it is likely that its doors will swing open with machine guns firing at you. Also, look out for people shooting at you from the roadside or other vehicles. I think it's lying there. About 95% sure that neither of those things happens. But I mean, either way, with, with all of this, right, I still, you know, Time Walker's still clearly in first because if nothing else, we've, we've gotten, we did get a kill. Oh, right yeah. in there. So he definitely has the high score, right? You know, f like part of the, the level. Yeah, for sure. Like, I, I don't foresee Alpha 5 passing him. It's possible. You know what? It's po like, you, you never know what people are going to really pick up on. Like, this is the sort of thing here, right? That they just might really pick up on. I mean, we, and, and it's boom, a mouse controlled out, yeah. driving game. Yeah. Well, that they probably think, is, oh, you're just slow, like, what's going on, right? That they haven't seen, like, turbo mode on the car yet. Yeah. Uh, oh, by the way, also, I see uh, Tapperhead a vehicle. It is best to choose your moment. <laughs> E.g., when on a long, straight section of road, use your turbo acceleration to move up to the side of him and run into him. So th this is making it sound like maybe hitting his side is better than hitting the back. I don't know. It could take several collisions to force the vehicle off the road, during which, during this, you may also be under fire. Ah! Watch out for obstacles in the road, such as oil spills. Uh, destroyed like vehicles and debris. Actually, I'm more worried about the cars than anything else, because I haven't <laughs> seen anything else in the road. I haven't seen oil spills. I haven't, like, I've seen debris, but it's usually because of you. cars. <laughs> Yeah, Time the, Walker. The debris is usually other cars. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Okay, what else? On turning, use full width of the road, but don't oversteer. Okay. Squealing tires will let you know if you are cutting it to fine. It doesn't say too fine. It says T-O fine. Are you cutting well, yeah. it to fine? So, I i mean, what I'm curious in, in seeing here is in, you know, three and a half minutes, um, right? How many people are going to yell at us? Oh, yeah. Oh, my gosh. There's so many tips for the flying section. That's for good reason. So many, so many. How long I mean, le is this? Legitimately, for, for good reason, though, it's not so much that the flying level is, like, so much more longer and, and, and everything like that, right? It's that the flying level is awful. Right? Like, I would kind of rather play the driving level. Oh, yeah, yeah. Like, I love flight sims. This is not a very good setup for a flight sim. Wait, apparently uh, the shooting stages that Seth Highwind and Exuno are on, apparently you can change the or the view for that as well? Yeah, d didn't you see Exuno putting it into third person mode? <laughs> I mean, no. <laughs> I'm not sure it's any better. Oh, it's definitely worse. Nice. Yeah, internal RoboVision is definitely the way to go here as the manual calls it. Okay, it, it luckily... Apparently there's also a close quarter combat section. It's the last level when you have to fight the ninjas. <laughs> okay, 
I love it. I love it. I love everything about this. Okay. Uh, by the way, other hints here, uh, especially for the shooting section. If you shoot women and children, it may result in system shutdown, Corn Dan. Well, that's true. I, I, I mean, I do appreciate, le legitimately, I do appreciate that um, outside of Robo... You know, where RoboCop 2, you could just shoot all the hostages you wanted, you just have to go back and do it, right? Like, they actually put in a real penalty here for, like, shooting hostages. Wait, some of the doorways apparently are booby-trapped in the shooting stages? Yeah, apparently. Yeah, just like the oil spills that are totally existent in the driving stages. Okay, if a grenade is thrown, they can throw grenades?! You still stand the chance to destroy it with your gun as the damage sustained will then be greatly reduced. Oh yeah, I've seen the grenades. Yeah. yeah. Whatever, I'm not gonna bother shooting it. Just shoot the guy and move on. <laughs> I'm brutal like that, Cornet. Gotta be brutal know, in this cruel world known as RoboCop 3. So, just so everybody knows, Time Walker is in first, Alpha 5 second, Seth Highwin third, Exuno fourth. I do not think we're going to see any change. So they, I mean, they won't change. For anything to actually change, Alpha 5 would have to, to basically beat this in the, this level in the next minute. Yeah. Yeah, not happening. <laughs> not happening, everybody. But that's okay. Because Time Walker's already stopped in a and apprehended the sports car. Oh yeah. Oh, I wasn't very close, but that's okay, everybody. Take a deep breath. Go ahead and get all of those gross uh, CO twos out of your lungs because that's time. The gross CO twos. Ah, nobody wants carbon dioxide in their lungs. That's dumb. Yeah, get it out, get it out. So, Time Walker <laughs> comes in first. Alpha 5 second, Sephi win third, and Exuno in fourth. This was, oh geez, this was really, really, really difficult. Honestly, uh, I know that some of the players struggled in various areas. Not a huge surprise. So, question, Corn Den. Does that make Exuno eliminated from the tournament? I believe so. Or how many points did Exuno hang up? If if Exuno doesn't have um, 27 points, Exuno was out. Aha, Cadis is confirming that. Oh, hello there, Time Walker. Welcome and congratulations on your victory today. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, I hope you guys can hear me because oh, I yeah. bought myself a new microphone so that I sound a bit better than last time. <laughs> you sound great. Yeah. Thank you. So let's go ahead and do a rundown. You managed to get through the most stages here. What are your thoughts about this Robocop? Okay, so when I first played those two levels, like the first person shooter ones, I thought actually it's not bad. I mean, I mean, for a Robocop game, <laughs> it, it actually wasn't bad. I mean, it had those issues like the Amiga heart issues where you as soon as you walk in, you're already being shot oh, and yeah. stuff like this. And I mean, if you kind of understood those controls, then uh, it, it actually was kind of fun. But then the third level, I mean, the driving stage, I mean, <laughs> Oh, I yeah. don't know. Like I don't know. It was like, so comedic to me. I mean, like I drew. I, I first didn't understand how to apprehend because I mean, if I ran, rammed that car, nothing happened. So I tried again, and again, and noticed. Oh, there's now smoke coming out. So it it is like this because the issue is if you ram into it, you kind of teleport everywhere like you don't know where you're suddenly at like you ran from the left and suddenly you're on the right side True. and when it was when i actually managed to apprehend that car i was like just standing around like oh cool i did it yes 
<laughs> to the next level, then I noticed, wait, it's <laughs> it's it's not going, <laughs> it's not fading to black. And then I noticed, oh no, oh no, and that was like a 10% efficiency. And yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah, it's I so saw that happen. I had no idea there was going to be another card, but <laughs> oh boy, I was kind of happy there was. I mean, Morgan, really? Was that you? What me? I heard a burp. No, it wasn't me. Was that you, Ty Walker? No, no, no. Maybe I, I burped. Maybe. I don't know. Was it Justin? Could have been Justin. Wait, he's not even in the room. Maybe it was a really loud burp. <laughs> 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 oh but yeah, my I mean, gosh, the driving yeah. stage. If, if the whole game was like just those two levels, then at least I would say, well, it's it's pretty a pretty fun game. If I would play this as a child, I would be tro totally happy with it. But the driving stage, and I don't want to know from. I, I mean, I read the manual, and there's like a flying section. Right, you can try the flying stage. The flying stage is amazingly terrible. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh man, oh and, man. And with the configuration that we gave you guys to try to smooth out the frame rate and everything, the flying stage is incredibly fast. Oh, okay. Oh my god. Yeah, I I like, really want to see that Insanely fast. It is so It's so bad. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Seriously though, great job today. You are definitely in the bracket so you can kick back and relax a little bit until we make it yeah. there probably i don't know maybe even this month we might be getting there oh that would be nice but i'm i'm pretty happy that i came this far now <laughs> yeah you know i i've seen people who uh, uh have taken a little while to get into it i've seen people who uh got it their first tournament hey you've made it to the bracket now honestly uh, you know it's, it's going to be challenging from here on out but I'd say I would be fine, mate. I didn't make the bracket, okay? <laughs> so you did better than me. Well, then I'm happy to get some more Robocop games in the future. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah. Well, I'll... <laughs> who knows? Who knows? We'll see. <laughs> Thank you so much, Corndan. Thank you as well. I appreciate having this game, and I've had a blast. Both of you, take care. See you next time. All right. Bye. See ya. Bye. Oh, everybody. This is Cuso Grande, the Bad Video Game Tournament. Remember, the names that we have up on uh, the stream are the names that they have for Twitch. So feel free to go follow them uh, if you would like. We have had a lot of fun people today. Big shout out to everybody who has subscribed, like Kefka40 just now. Uh, those who are chatting, those who are dropping bits, you're helping keep me kept. You're helping keep me fed. You're also helping purchase some of the prizes for Cusa Grande. We usually give over two thousand dollars worth. At least we did last year. So thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, up next, we have another game. We're gonna run to an ad. Don't forget, it, during this ad, if you want to submit to Don't Make Us Bored, you are welcome to do that. See you in 60 seconds.